Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. Please remember to like share and subscribe to help the progress of the channel and community. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. Let's begin with Swift, who has partnered with blockchain firm Consensus to incorporate blockchain payment rails into its cross-border payment framework, signifying a notable leap toward digital transformation in finance. This collaboration aims to develop a conceptual prototype for a digital ledger that facilitates real-time, 24-7 cross-border payments using regulated tokenized value. By utilizing SWIFT's existing security, resiliency, and scalability, the prototype will manage transactions through smart contracts, which automate agreements without intermediaries. Feedback from over 30 major financial institutions, including DBS Bank, ANZ, and JP Morgan Chase, indicates industry-wide support for interoperability among traditional and new payment systems. SWIFT CEO Javier Perez Tasso highlighted this initiative's capacity to enhance the financial landscape, advocating for SWIFT's platform as central to evolving payment experiences. Although no specific implementation timelines are provided, the focus is on conceptual development for diverse applications, including tokenized assets and global transactions across 200 countries. This venture is part of the broader trend of integrating blockchain in finance, aiming to improve efficiency, cut costs, and increase accessibility, while navigating challenges related to regulatory compliance and system interoperability. Overall, it marks a significant effort to merge legacy banking systems with innovative cryptocurrency solutions. Next we head over to Jupiter, Solana's premier decentralized exchange aggregator that facilitates seamless token swaps across multiple liquidity sources to optimize trading efficiency, has announced a strategic partnership with Athena Labs to launch JupUSD, a new Solana native stablecoin aimed at unifying liquidity within Jupiter's ecosystem. Revealed on October 8, 2025, via a post on X, the stablecoin is slated for release later this quarter following audits, initially backed by USDTB with plans to expand collateral to include Athena's synthetic dollar, USDE, a stablecoin generated through delta-neutral hedging strategies involving staked Ethereum and short perpetual futures positions. JupUSD is designed to serve as a foundational liquidity base across Jupiter's trading, lending, and perpetual markets, gradually converting approximately $750 million in USDC into JupUSD through liquidity pools to reduce reliance on external stablecoins and tighten on-chain liquidity loops. This integration promises enhanced efficiency for real-time settlements and DeFi activities on Solana, where the stablecoin market capitalization exceeds $15.3 billion, positioning JupUSD to potentially become one of the largest ecosystem native stablecoins in DeFi amid a global stablecoin market surpassing $300 billion. Jupiter's goal, as stated, is to create a unified liquidity backbone for Solana, replacing USDC as the dominant unit of account on the platform and fostering deeper liquidity for swaps, perps, and structured products. Market implications include accelerating stablecoin adoption in DeFi, where trust, peg resilience, and regulatory clarity, bolstered by emerging U.S. legislation like the Genius Act for Reserve Standards and Licensing, will be critical for success. Even modest uptake could elevate JupUSD's status, though challenges like volatility and oversight in the speculative crypto space underscore the need for robust mechanisms to maintain stability. Looking ahead, this launch aligns with trends toward compliant, on-chain dollars, potentially reshaping Solana's DeFi landscape by democratizing access to stable value and driving higher transaction volumes in a chain already dominant in real-time settlements. Moving on to Sony Bank, a subsidiary of the multinational conglomerate Sony Group known for its electronics, entertainment, and gaming divisions including PlayStation, has positioned itself in the cryptocurrency space through its subsidiary Connexia Trust, which filed an application with the U.S. Office of the Controller of the Currency, OCC, for a national banking charter to engage in digital asset activities. This move, detailed in the application, would allow Connexia Trust to issue U.S. dollar-pegged stablecoins, digital tokens designed to maintain a one-to-one -one value with the fiat currency through reserves like cash or equivalents, while maintaining the corresponding reserve assets, providing non-fiduciary digital asset custody services to safeguard cryptocurrencies without investment advice, and offering fiduciary asset management to certain affiliates. Sony Bank stated in the filing, during its initial phase of operations, 
Trust Bank intends to engage in certain digital asset activities that the OCC has previously found to be permissible under existing national bank legal authorities, emphasizing compliance with established banking laws. This application joins a wave of similar filings from entities like payments processor Stripe, crypto exchange Coinbase, stablecoin issuers Paxos Trust and Circle, reflecting a broader trend of tech and finance firms entering the stablecoin market following the passage of the Genius Act which establishes a formal regulatory framework for issuing and trading stablecoins in the U.S. stablecoins, with a total market capitalization of $312 billion, serve as digital dollar equivalents in regions with restricted fiat access, facilitating trades, payments, and remittances. Leading issuers like Tether and Circle dominate, and market predictions on platforms like Myriad suggest a 68% chance of growth to $360 billion by February 2026. For Sony, this venture builds on prior blockchain efforts, such as partnering with Startail Group in 2023 to launch Sunium, an Ethereum Layer 2 network that debuted its mainnet in January 2025, potentially bridging entertainment ecosystems like gaming with financial services. Implications span the entertainment and finance sectors, where stablecoins could enable seamless global payments for digital content or in-game economies, enhancing user accessibility while leveraging regulatory approvals to attract institutional inflows. However, challenges like those faced by Anchorage Digital Bank, the only fully approved digital asset bank, which resolved a 2022 OCC cease and desist order in August 2025, highlight potential scrutiny over compliance and operations in this evolving landscape. Next let's talk Vitalik Buterin, who has unveiled the GKR protocol, enhancing zero-knowledge proofs, ZKPs, by implementing a method based on the work of Goldwasser, Kalai, and Rothblum. This protocol significantly accelerates the verification of computations without revealing sensitive data, crucial for improving privacy and scalability in blockchain environments. In a blog post from October 19, 2025, Buterin describes GKR as a system that verifies complex calculations by concentrating on the initial inputs and outputs. It utilizes probabilistic spot checks at strategic points, which allows for verification without the need for exhaustive computation, ideal for the repetitive nature of blockchain transactions and AI tasks. For example, when validating Poseidon 2 hash functions, GKR samples random points throughout processing, reducing traditional computational overhead. Performance metrics indicate GKR can verify up to 2 million calculations per second using standard laptops and only 50 consumer-grade GPUs for entire Ethereum transactions, a significant efficiency gain over traditional methods. GKR's adoption offers Ethereum improvements in transaction costs, speeds, and enhanced privacy through ZK rollups, which bundle off-chain transactions for on-chain validation. Buterin emphasizes that privacy is vital for Ethereum, warning against the risks of a transparent system that could lead to surveillance. With the support of the Ethereum Foundation's privacy cluster, GKR could potentially transform Ethereum, integrating privacy concerns typical of Web 2 into the more open Web 3 space especially important as regulatory frameworks like the EU's MICA impact the blockchain landscape. Moving on while still on subject, ZKSync has introduced the Atlas upgrade, enhancing its integration with Ethereum's main chain to unify liquidity, accelerate transaction speeds, and reduce costs. The upgrade has garnered praise from Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin, emphasizing ZKSync's valuable contributions. Atlas positions Ethereum's Layer 1 as the key capital hub, removing the necessity for separate liquidity pools on other L2s like Arbitrum and Base. Its technical features boast over 15,000 transactions per second, one-second finality for L2 to L2 transfers, and minimal fees, significantly improving cross-L2 transaction times. The focus on seamless interoperability reduces friction in capital movement, benefiting DeFi users and real-world asset projects. Unique to Atlas is its ability to centralize liquidity on Ethereum L1, supporting real-time settlements that ease user transactions. By creating a unified hub, Atlas transforms Ethereum into a robust liquidity backbone, accommodating market trends more efficiently. Buterin's support highlights the upgrade's role in Ethereum's journey towards scalability, facilitating institutional adoption, decreasing gas fees, and enhancing overall capacity, thereby driving blockchain innovation and establishing Ethereum as a critical layer for global finance. Next we have more on Ethereum. The Ethereum Foundation has launched an institutional portal at institutions.ethereum.org to facilitate adoption among businesses and financial firms, presenting Ethereum as a reliable platform for global financial operations on-chain. 
This initiative shifts focus from funding crypto native projects to attracting mainstream investments, showcasing Ethereum's predictability, minimal congestion, and robust security. Key portal features include privacy tools like Tornado Cash, scalable Layer 2 networks for efficient transaction processing, and the tokenization of traditional assets through real world assets, RWA, and stablecoins. The portal emphasizes decentralized finance, DeFi, privacy enhancements, and customizable scalability via L2S. Additionally, the Enterprise Acceleration Team will assist institutions in on-chain integration, although specific funding details remain undisclosed beyond historical support. The portal serves as a resource hub, reflecting participation from major players like BlackRock with tokenized money market funds on Ethereum, and aims to connect crypto natives with traditional finance. Upcoming developments like the Fusaka update in December 2025 will increase the block gas limit, enhancing smart contract capabilities and fee reduction. The initiative is likely to attract institutional investment, boost transaction volumes, and reinforce L2 security, positioning Ethereum as a vital component for everyday financial solutions while expanding community engagement and encouraging collaboration on enterprise applications. Moving on to Flutterwave, Nigeria's leading fintech, is collaborating with Polygon Labs to create a cross-border payment platform utilizing stablecoins, aiming to enhance fund flows in Africa through blockchain technology. This effort, reported by Bloomberg on October 30, 2025, leverages Polygon's Ethereum-compatible blockchain for efficient, low-cost transactions to overcome traditional payment system challenges like high fees and delays. CEO Olubenga Igbula emphasized that stablecoin usage could significantly increase transaction volumes in Africa. The integration focuses on stablecoins like USDT and USDC, which are gaining traction as protections against inflation amid soaring on-chain transaction volumes in sub-Saharan Africa, particularly in response to Nigeria's currency issues. A 2024 Chainalysis report indicates that stablecoin transfers can be up to 60% cheaper than traditional methods, optimizing remittances crucial for household incomes. The initiative aims to facilitate quicker business transactions, thereby enhancing economic connectivity in a region where cryptocurrencies are rising due to favorable regulations in several countries. While there is no specified launch date, the partnership symbolizes a push towards a resilient financial ecosystem that minimizes dependence on unstable local currencies. Factors like regulatory clarity and user confidence will be crucial for realizing the full potential of this fintech advancement in Africa's evolving crypto landscape. And with a final splash of optimism we have Vanek Digital Assets, LLC who has amended its Form S1 registration with the SEC for the Vanek GDASOL ETF, aimed at providing regulated exposure to GDASOL, a Solana-based liquid staking token. This product enables investors to earn yields through GDASOL without managing validators, tracking the token's market price minus expenses via the market vector index. Shares will be created and redeemed in blocks of 25,000 through various transactions. Operating outside the Investment Company Act or Commodity Exchange Act, the ETF aims to attract institutional and retail investors focused on passive income from Solana. Analysts are optimistic about Sol's price recovery, with predictions of a rebound to $240 or $300, supported by current trading around $186. Technical strategist projections suggest that Sol may complete its corrective phase, targeting $295 and beyond, presenting buying opportunities on dips. The ETF's regulatory approval process is crucial, marking a significant step for Solana-focused products. Increased adoption of SOL and legitimizing crypto ETFs are potential outcomes, though success will depend on market dynamics and regulatory developments in this volatile landscape. Thank you for watching, there will be more videos on the crypto world. We try to buff out the FUD and keep everyone's attention on development and important events in the crypto world. The tech is amazing and understanding it can take you a long way.